and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is stephanie and my channel is about all things homemaking so i have a ton of motivational videos on cooking cleaning organizing and a little bit of decorating so if that is something that you're interested in please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below in today's video we are doing an easter clean and decorate with me so we are going to clean up our main area of the home and then we are going to decorate using what I already have from last year. So I'm going to take you through that. And then I'm probably going to head down to my local Kmart to pick up a few little bits and pieces to add that I might be missing um, because I've seen their range and it is super cute. Lots of pastel pinks, pastel blues, which is something that I love for Easter. I love the color. So I will take you through that haul as well. If you like this video, please remember to like it by hitting that button down below. And without anything else, I think we should just get straight into the cleaning. Whenever I start to clean a space, I always go from top to bottom. I start off by wiping down all the furniture. I find that if I use a microfiber cloth with the water ringed out, it picks up all the dust. This is really good for my allergies as I'm not moving the dust around, I'm picking it up. Then I like to go over it again with Co. I find the Co keeps everything looking nice and shiny. I find it good to vacuum the dining chairs every few months because they're fabric. I was using the Dyson stick vac, but I found that the suction was a bit too strong. On the Melee, there is a setting for furniture and this works perfectly for the chairs and couches. So the vacuum actually doesn't pull at the fabric. Okay, so I have done all the cleaning. So I just unpacked what I already had from last year. So I'm just going to quickly go through it all with you. So first off, I had this Easter sign. I think this one was from Bed, Bath and Table, but yeah, it's so cute. And again, pastel colors. So for Easter, I just love all pastel colors. Then we got like these birds nests. So I got two of those. And I have these little, you can see these little chickadees and bunnies that I usually put in them. 
So we've got those. Um, I had like a wire hanging tree oh, last year. So I had some decorations on there. I probably won't do that again. So I've got those. Um, so I might use those in a different area of the house. Then we had these mini bunnies, those flocked bunnies. They were from Kmart. I think they have them again this year. Then I have this beautiful bunny. You can get these ones from Woolworths. And then I had these eggs. So again, pastel -y colors. These ones are from Bed Bath and Table. So they were so nice. I think I've seen something like this maybe on the Kmart website or Big W. So they're definitely out there again this year. Then we had some little gift bags that I kind of just filled up and put them at the door. I filled them up, I think, with rice. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do those again this year. So I'll put them in the maybe pile. And then I have these little carrots that are kind of placed in this big basket with this pretend hay. Uh, that one is from Kmart as well. I think they have the same one this year. It might be a different size, but I've definitely seen that online. And then my mum got me this basket, so I'll just reuse that. And then again, we bought some more um, carrots. These were actually, I think they were like either, they had the string like these ones and I just cut them off so I could use them in the basket. So you get whatever you find, you can always repurpose it as something else if you need to. And then this was my favorite. I got this from Target. It's a ceramic egg. It's so nice, so pretty. So yeah, so that's everything I have. So I think I can do a little bit of decorating with this stuff, especially around the TV and probably on the coffee table and the main table. And then, yeah, I might head down to Kmart and pick up a few little signs and little decorations that I've seen in the last few days. I love these times of year where we get to be with our families and celebrate. Let me know down in the comments what you were doing for Easter and if you have any special foods you make. This year, we are having Easter at my parents again. Okay, so you know me, I did end up going to Kmart and picking up a few things. So that was yesterday, it's the next day now. So I am going to drop some clips of what they have in stock there, but so many bright pastel colors, which are absolutely amazing. So many things if you have kids to decorate the house or gift them their Easter eggs in, but I'm going to drop those clips next and then I'm going to take you through what I bought. Okay, so here is my little mini haul. There are not as many Easter decorations out there as there are Christmas decorations, but still super cute. Uh, if you remember at Christmas time, I had these metal signs from Kmart. So they actually have Easter ones. So there's this beautiful blue one, which Easter bunny hop here. So that one was $10. And then there's this amazing, look how gorgeous the bunny is, a happy Easter. 
So I've got those. And then, oh, I've got this. This, I actually got this idea from somebody else off YouTube. So this is actually a light up little ornament, egg ornament. Super cute. So I'm going to put that in the kitchen, probably with one of these two signs. I'm not sure which one. Um, it kind of goes with both, doesn't it? Okay, we'll work it out after. We'll work it out after. Then I, oh, and that one was, how much was she? $8. And it's already got batteries in it. So that's perfect. And then I end up getting this wooden happy Easter sign with the bunny. I don't know why. I don't need any more signs. Um, but this one was only $5. So how cute is that? And I got one for my mum too, but it's okay because by the time she watches this video, hi mum, you will have already gotten this. And then last year they had these bunny wreaths at Target, what I like to call it, and they were super expensive. I think they were $30 or $40 last year, but I actually found this one at Kmart for $12. So that is really good. So I'm going to try and hang it above the stove, kind of where I hang that little wreath usually. But how cute is it? So I'm so happy. Everything matches and goes with the theme. So I'm going to try and splice these throughout where I've already decorated and put some in the kitchen because I have nothing in the kitchen. And then that's my Easter decorating done. Thank you so much for watching this Easter clean and decorate with me. I hope I gave you some tips on how to clean and some ideas for decorating this year. Don't forget if you haven't already to click the like button below and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'll see you again next Tuesday at 8 p.m.